Hello there guys and welcome to what is going to be our 35th C++ tutorial. Today's tutorial we're going to go ahead and talk about vectors. Today we're going to talk about how to uh, basically declare and initialize um, a vector uh, in in the CPP programming language. Uh, if you guys didn't watch the previous tutorial guys, go ahead and watch those tutorials. They're, they're very informative and they're going to basically give you more uh, more of a basically um, so you can more of a better build up so you guys can understand this tutorial much better if you watched the previous ones and if you didn't watch the um, other uh, other tutorials of uh, basically uh, concentrating on C, Java and Visual Basic and all, all monitors guys please go ahead and watch those and please subscribe to my channel guys if you haven't done so already or if you haven't gotten a chance to do so and please leave comments with any suggestions or basically concerns uh, you know and please rate all the videos you, because this gives me feedback if I'm actually doing a good job or something or or, or you guys if you guys like my videos or not so to waste no more time let's go ahead and start typing our code um, we're gonna go ahead and type our code and if you don't quite understand from the beginning guys um, we're gonna go ahead uh, once we're done typing the code we're gonna go over it in more detail so you guys can better so you guys can grasp the ideas better alright so we always start by including the libraries we need to use let's go start by including the IO stream and we also need to include the vector right there so to do that we type vector and let's go type using namespace standard and let's go inside our main here I'm gonna go ahead and type return zero here just to have it ready alright so this is gonna be a simple tutorial on vectors how do we in this tutorial, let's go ahead and basically um, declare. Uh, we're going to declare uh, um, in the, uh, an in type vector. So to do that, we go ahead and type vector, specify the data type, which int, and then the name of it. So let's call it int list. I guess that will be a proper name. And I'm going to say how many elements I want it to contain. I want it to contain, let's say, ten elements here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use a for loop here. And i let's set that equal to zero. I is less than ten and i plus plus. And let's go ahead and go and let's set our vector here, which is called int list. And let's set this equal to let's put um, i. And let's set it equal to let's set it equal to i. So well let's set it equal to i plus one. And don't forget to put brackets here, not parentheses. There we go. And let's go ahead and have another for loop here. So let me go ahead and put a C out here. Print some new lines so it looks so our output looks a little bit more formatted. And Let's have another for loop here. In j equals zero, j less than ten, and j plus plus. And let's go inside here and let's just print out in, which is our vector here called in list and j, which is j, and then let's put an m line here. All right. So let's go ahead over our code here. Besides our IO stream library here, we need to include the vector library in order to use the vector, uh, f uh, the vector component here. How do we declare a vector? We we start by typing vector and then specify the data type that we want to, uh, the vector to be. And basically, a vector, all the vector is basically is a it's a dynamic array. And what that means is, unlike the array, which we need to specify exactly the size of it. So let's say the, arm, the array will contain 10 elements in, in a regular array that that, um, that memory space will be allocated du during the compile time but in a vector here which is a, a dynamic array in a vector we can specify uh, or, or, or we don't have to specify but we can specify that we want 10 elements and um, once we actually in uh, once we actually run in the program uh, we can actually change the size of the vector so this is a dynamic uh, so we can dynamically basically uh, allocate more memory and basically change the size of the vector or, or the array because the vector is just basically a dynamic array 
which give us more gives us uh, more flexibility and so on so that is a good thing about vectors and uh, and this tutorial is just a simple one over uh, next tutorial we're going to go a little bit more of the some functions contained in, in this library here the vector library but for this tutorial we're just going to basically declare it. we declared our vector here we tell it we wanted to have uh, 10 elements and what we did is we're storing some numbers so because this is, we have a data type of end here a vector is uh, our vector is going to be an int type and basically we're going from element from we're putting 10 elements in here so we're starting from 1 till 10 so we should have uh, 1 to 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 in the vector and down here we're just printing out two new lines and on our second for loop we're just printing out those elements so what we should see is basically we should see 1 through 10 basically so we should see 1 through 10 printed out so if you go ahead and build this let's see if we get any errors we don't so let's go ahead and go to debug and start without debugging so as we see here is 1 through 10 you see the the blank space here is is from our print line so we shouldn't have had that actually let me just get rid of that because it actually doesn't look better it looks worse for that so let's go ahead and, and we build the solution and let's go ahead and start without debugging again and there we go so we see our elements 1 through 10 so this was a quick tutorial on how to initialize and basically uh, declare and initialize a vector in C++. Uh, next tutorial we're going to go over some of the functions in the vector uh, in the vector library here. And uh, so vectors are uh, very useful because you can basically um, you can change the size if if so you can uh, accommodate them if you if you need to put more or if you need to store more data in the array or not. So. Thank you for watching this tutorial guys, if you didn't watch our previous tutorials guys, go ahead and watch those and all my other tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe, rate and leave comments guys, it's really in the light and thank you for watching this tutorial. Stick around for more guys and thank you for watching again.